Hot skin lymphoma is cured in most cases, but still 20 to 30 percent of the patients require more than one uh, line of therapy. Uh, the standard therapy for these patients is uh, uh, chemotherapy plus um, autologous stem cell transplantation, but conventional chemotherapy provides only 30 to 40 percent of uh, complete responses before the transplant. So many patients go to the transplant not in complete response and they do not so well as they should do. So uh, brintoxin avidotin is, in a, is a new drug that has been demonstrated a high efficacy in these patients. So we wanted, but only after the transplantation. We wanted to move this drug to the, before the transplant. So we have uh, conducted a trial in the Spanish uh, gel tamer group and combined it, uh, brain with ISHAP, with uh, etoposide, uh, solomedrol, high dose RSC, and prednisone as a standard therapy. Uh, and the combination provides a very good uh, response rate, up to 71% of the patients entering complete response and go to the transplant. Uh, after the transplant, patients have a progression free survival higher than 70% and an overall survival beyond 90%. So the results represent a clear advance in this disorder by the combination of uh, ESHAP with brintuxin and betotin. Patients uh, that were treated were mainly Hodgkin lymphoma patients in second line therapy. So they had received only one line before they enter in the, in the, in the trial. And uh, these patients were uh, mostly uh, primary refractory patients, so patients who did not achieve complete response with the first line of therapy. And uh, uh, most of them were young patients, or the median age was uh, uh, 35 years. And uh, all patients were treated in 14 institutions in Spain uh, using three cycles of ISHAP combined with brentoximab adotin. And this produced a complete response rate of 71% before the transplant. 95% of the patients respond, mm -hmm. only, three, only two patients did not respond to the therapy, and the complete response rate was 71% of the patients. Uh, this results uh, had improved our standard ISHA protocol uh, by 20% at least, 20% of the patients increased their response rate. And uh, this protocol all, all the, uh, also provided a good uh, mobilization uh, uh, profile for the patients. All patients who were uh, mobilized uh, collected cells. Uh, this means that 60, 60 patients out of 60 patients mobilized and collected sufficient cells for, the, for doing the transplant. And the transplant was done in, was done in, in all of them uh, with no uh, engraftment failures. So the results are clearly uh, very good for, for a transplant. In addition, the results uh, show a very good profile uh, in the long-term uh, uh, follow-up since after 20 months, 20, 26 months of uh, for a medium follow-up, uh, patients demonstrated a 71% progression-free survival and a 91% overall survival, which are the results that are really very good.